Right? And, and God blessed them. But he says in verse 8, But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. He's bringing up the fact, hey, God made a promise all those you know, hundreds of years ago unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, God keeps his promises, which is why he brought you forth out of Egypt. Because God is a God that knows his word. He remembers where he's faithful and true unto his words. Verse number nine, know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. He's a faithful God. He's true to what he says. He keeps his covenant. When God makes a promise or a covenant with you, God is sure to keep that promise. He goes on here in verse 10, and repayeth them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. And he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of thy land, thy corn and thy wine and thine oil, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep in the land which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And he goes on in this chapter to continue with all the blessings that they'll receive if they would just follow his commandments and listen to his words and do what he has to, to tell them. Now, of course, we know that the children of Israel did not keep that old covenant and they ended up being judged. But see, God was true to his word. And he said any time that the children of Israel came back to God and they would serve him with a full heart, hey, he would bless them. He would, he would keep them safe from their enemies. He would deliver them out of the, out of the hands of the people that would do them harm. But when they turned their back on him, when they went and, and served other gods... God would judge them. But see, this was the covenant that he made with them. You've heard of the old covenant and the new covenant, right? There's two covenants that God made. The old covenant was of the law. That was the old arrangement, the old deal, was that, hey, okay, here's my law, and I expect you, I want you to follow all of my, all of my law, and then everything will be good with you, and, and I'll bless you. And the problem with that covenant was that the people aren't able to keep that covenant. I mean, just as much today as we're not able to, they weren't able to back then. We are not able to keep all of God's law. We all fall short, which is why we need grace. And the new covenant was ushered in with Jesus Christ and his death and his burial and his resurrection the gospel of Jesus Christ brought in that new covenant, that new agreement of, of faith. Now, that was what's carried out. Of course, people have always been saved by grace through faith in the Bible, all throughout the Bible. Romans chapter 4, if you're, if you're not sure about that, read Romans chapter 4. The Bible talks about Abraham, and it talks about David believing God, and it was counted unto them for righteousness. That, that that is where they believed on God and, and that's how they got saved. That's how they receive eternal life just as much as we do today because people are the same. They weren't able to keep the law any better back then than we are today. I mean, think about how you match up with God's law and, and how perfect do you think you are when it comes to that. Well, they were the same way. And we have evidence of it in the Bible. No one was able to keep that law, that covenant. But God says, and this is true, hey, if there is somebody that's able to keep all of the commandments and all the covenant of God, guess what? They will be blessed. They'll have eternal life and everything else. But we all fall short. We break that covenant with God. 